which wire the wire phone is to be switched off or in the flight mode for the entire duration of the flight. We are sure you must have heard this announcement every time you boarded a flight and surely it meant that you had no internet access, couldn't receive or even make calls. Basically for the entire duration of your flight, you either dependent on the in-flight entertainment system, if lucky, or just binge watch your downloaded movies and listen to the saved playlist or well, gaze around and laze around in the confines of an airplane. After a point, even the candy floss like clouds get boring to watch. But. Um, but what if I told you all of this could change or it already has? SpaceX will now be offering in-flight Wi-Fi services. The company is rolling out a Starlink aviation service through a $150,000 aeroplane antenna. Musk says that this will feel similar to accessing internet at home. The company has already tested the connectivity from one plane to another through a video call. But honestly, this is not as path-breaking as it sounds. The logic is really simple, but for now, let's jump back to India and check our policies here. In 2018, the Department of Telecommunication or DOT notified that making calls and surfing the internet when traveling on a flight or during a ship voyage within the Indian territory is permitted. How many of you all knew that? The government, however, said that in-flight connectivity would be available only above an altitude of 3,000 meters. Meanwhile, TRAI announced that a separate category of service providers would be created, who would be required to register themselves with DOT before beginning to offer in-flight Wi-Fi. Soon after, BSNL became the first to receive the license from DOT in 2019. However, it was only by 2021 that BSNL got the green signal from the government to deliver in Masrat's Global Express mobile broadband service in India. There are other players on board now, like Reliance Geo, Tata Back, Nelco and Bharti Airtel. Now, these are companies that have the capability to provide in-flight internet, but how many of them have executed it? How many of you have used the internet in an airplane? In India, only one airline service, Vistara, has been offering this since September 2020. Vistara flyers can send messages, emails and browse the internet while sitting in the flight. Vistara has partnered with Panasonic Avionics to supply integration service and Nelco is delivering the satellite capacity and ground station support. Now, truth be told, so far I haven't used in-flight internet yet. Have you? But why can't you find network in the air and how will this new policy solve it? Let's assume that if you did have your cell phone on while flying, there is very little chance of finding any internet to do anything. Reason being, there are no cell towers at 36,000 feet above sea level. All the world's towers are way below you when you're in an aircraft. The cell phone towers don't expect traffic in the air, so their radiation patterns are focused on the ground. That's how they are built. So if companies had to get a network on their flight, they would need a Pico cell installed on the plane, which would act as a miniature tower for connectivity. That's simple, right? No. Logistics is a big problem when it comes to execution of in-flight connectivity. For one, the installation charges are hefty and second, it will take up to 12 hours to set up. The antennas need to be placed on the flight, which can cost about 4 crore for one single aircraft alone. And expecting passengers to pay for the cost is difficult given how price sensitive the Indian aviation sector is. In order to tackle this, Bharti Etel joined a global alliance called the Seamless Alliance, whose role is to figure out feasible ways to deal with acquisition, installation and operation of low-cost data access infrastructure. But so far, nothing much has happened on this front. Why we play the waiting game, you tell us. Would you like an internet connection in your flight or do you enjoy your time away from the worldly weirdness leviating amid the fluffy clouds once in a while?